In this video, you will learn how to post a resource to the High School Tiered Interventions Community of Practice. Sharing resources is an important part of being a member of the community. You should consider sharing any materials you have used at the school, district, or state level to plan or implement tiered interventions in high schools. For example, you may want to share PowerPoints from professional development events you have attended or led, sample agendas from data meetings, links to websites you find helpful, assessment measures you have developed to track the progress of your students, and sample school schedules which show how interventions and data meetings have been fit in. Anything that you have developed or have found helpful in planning for or implementing tiered interventions could save others from starting from scratch. By posting your resources, you can also receive helpful feedback from other community members. The first step is to find the High School Tiered Interventions homepage. If you need help finding it, please watch the how-to video, How to Navigate the Community. From the High School Tiered Interventions homepage, you can upload a, res a resource by clicking the Upload a Resource icon in the center of the page. You can also use the Create box on the upper right side of every page within the Tiered Interventions group. Click the drop-down menu and select Resource, though you can also use this tool to create discussions or events. Click the blue Create button. This will, create, this will take you to the Create a Resource form, where you will enter information about your resource and upload or provide a link. Enter a title that describes your resource. Try to use a descriptive title that indicates what the resource is. If I were to upload a transcript of this video, I would type, Transcript of How to Post a Resource Video. For the sake of time during this video, I'll just type transcript. In the description section, type a brief description of the resource, including who it has been created by and how you have used it or how it is intended to be used. If possible, include information about how it has worked for you and what you think has been successful and what has not. For my transcript video, I might add a description like, this document includes a transcript of the video, How to Post a Resource, which is located on the High School Tiered Interventions Community of Practice. The video and transcripts have been created by Jessica Agus at the National High School Center. It is intended to be viewed by members of the High School Tiered Interventions Community of Practice who wish to upload the resource to the site. This resource has not yet been implemented, so I do not have any data on its effectiveness. For the sake of time, I'll just write for video. Once you have added your description, scroll down to Files and Links. You have the option to either upload the file from your computer or to add a URL for a web address. Let's look at how to upload a file first. Click on Browse. Find the file you wish to upload on your computer, much like you would if you were attaching a file to an email. Select the file and click Open. You should now see the shortened file name in the box. Click on the blue Upload button. You will now see the file listed and hyperlinked. If the resource you wish to upload is not on your computer but is on the Internet, you do not need to complete the upload process. Instead, you should add the title of the website, and then the URL that is associated with whatever you're trying to link. For example, if I wanted to share the National High School Center's website, I could put the name of the resource in the title, National High School Center's website, and then put in the URL, betterhighschools.org. Once you have either uploaded a file from your computer or added a link, it's time to tag your resource. These tags will help users search through resources more easily. The first tag is Level of Evidence. This tag is asking you to rate the level of evidence that suggests your resource is effective. When you identify a resource as promising, you indicate that the resource and its suggested practices have been implemented and that initial, mo initial monitoring shows positive results. When you designate a resource as innovative, you indicate that it 
is too early to assess the impact of your resource. For example, if you are uploading a PowerPoint that you used for professional development, only tag this as promising if it has already been presented and data shows that it either changed staff behavior or had an impact on student progress. If it has not been presented and or there is no data to show that there has been a positive result, mark this resource as innovative. We think it's important for both types of resources to be shared. After all, just because no data has been collected does not mean that the resource is not worthwhile. However, we think that it's important for users to know the level of evidence behind the resources they download. Since my video transcript has not been tested, I'll mark innovative. The next tag is for the type of document. If your resource describes a model schedule or a meeting agenda, select Model. If it is a tool, like an assessment measure, select Tool. If it is anything else, like PowerPoint or a document, select a resource. In the next section, Tiered Interventions Categories, indicate what topics the resource relates to. If it specifically relates to screening, mark Screening. If it relates to alignment, select Alignment. To select multiple, hold down the Control key and click on the words at the same time. In the final section, Level, identify which type of practitioner this resource would be most appropriate for. For my resource, it might be helpful for school, state, and district. If it does not fit into any categories, you may skip this, this section. Now you are ready to click Save. You can see your resource listed. And if you go to the High School Tiered Interventions page, click on Tiered Resources. You can see your, your resource listed along with other resources from other members. Once your resource is posted, others will be able to comment and provide their own experiences with the resource and provide feedback. They may also ask questions about your resource. You can comment on your own resources or on others by clicking Add New Comment under each resource description. First, you need to click on the resource then click on Add Comment, and you'll be able to add a comment there. Thank you so much for watching this video. I look forward to checking out your resource. Be sure to watch our other how-to videos for more information on how to interact within the community.